Stella was abused, rejected, depressed, and divorced, which left her heartbroken and devastated. But one time, she made a vow to God that if he healed her heart, she would reach out to hurting people. Welcome to the healing ministry of Beauty for Ashes, rescuing an endangered generation. My name is Stella Azamadia and it's a Q and A session. These questions are based on my story, the things that I've been through that have made this ministry beautiful ashes. There's a question here. How did you manage to overcome your past? Wow. How did I manage to overcome my past? That's Jen not really been a smooth journey it wasn't a smooth journey how did I manage to overcome my past just to be real sometimes the flashes will come it has been a gradual process because there have been several things that I have been through how did I manage to overcome number one I realized that I was lame in some areas of my life I realized that I needed help. I realized that I'd hit the rock bottom. It has happened. It has happened. What is the way forward? I looked around for people who have walked the same journey. People like Joyce Meyer came in handy. Juanita Bynum came in too listening to their life experiences, them talking about the thick challenges they went through, Joyce Meyer being abused by her father, Juanita Bynum going through divorce, I'd gone, only gone through one divorce, she has been through more than one, so I said okay. And the good thing is that been through these things and they had overcome. I had to face myself. This is your journey. This is what happened. What next? Does the surrounding look at me as a divorced person or a raped person? The things we go through are not evident on our faces. That you've been abused, you've been molested, name whatever challenge that you're going through. They do not. It is you who tells somebody else or they have got to know or oh, they've seen you going through those challenges that can, that can tell their, your story. But when you go into a new environment, they cannot see that. And definitely, they don't want you to behave like that. I had to organize myself and tell myself, I have been through this, but I'm not going to let this determine my future. I'm not going to let my childhood, my bad past, depict whom I'm going to become in future. I started praying, honest prayers. Many people pray amiss to God. If it's, God, oh, this is what is happening. I am hurting. I don't feel like praying. My heart is broken. Honest prayers really matter. When you're honest, you will cry. You break down and cry. Say, God, I'm so hurting. This is it. How come this is happening in my life? Sort me out. You become like, how can I state it? I'm looking for someone vulnerable before God. Another thing is you get somebody to open up to. There's a saying, a problem shared is half solved. But another thing, you need to face that mountain that is ahead of you. That mountain of depression, that mountain of bitterness, that mountain of uh, rape, that mountain of divorce, that mountain of molestation, that mountain of any form of abuse. Maybe it's the poor background that you're coming from, or low education standard, or low self-esteem, somewhere, somewhere. You need to face it. Uh -uh. You mountain, you have to calm down. 
my life is not going to be depicted by this particular challenge that is ahead of me and speak to that mountain depression you're not part of me rap you're not part of me abuse that is not who i am i'm not defined by being abused i'm not defined by that i am a new creature through christ jesus i i overcome that in jesus name having failed to overcome that drew me into a depression and i had to get some people to cancel me but one time my doctor told me stella you have to face that mountain climb over that mountain or hit it down so i'm here to tell somebody how can you overcome your past the scripture says in isaiah 53 i'll end with this isaiah 53 verse uh, verse number four surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows verse 5 says isaiah 53 verse 5 he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed by his stripes we are healed walk the journey you can choose to walk the journey of overcoming your past today like i did and i pray that the lord will give you beautiful ashes oil of gladness a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness according to isaiah 61 verse 1 to verse 4 which is our theme scripture bye bye for now that's all we had for you in beautiful ashes with stella azamadia this ministry is made possible by the grace of god and kingdom financers for counseling prayer or partnership call 0776 044-636 or 0752-044-636. Follow us on our social media platforms, on our Facebook page, Beautiful Ashes with Stella Azamadia, on YouTube, Stella Azamadia, and on Twitter, at Stella Aza One. Beautiful Ashes, rescuing an endangered generation.